Quarter. Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our weekend weather update and the outlook for next week, recorded on Friday the 6th of September. Windy westerlies carry on. They're going to pick up even further overnight tonight and going into Saturday with severe gales possible in both main islands. Although many of you shouldn't have too many problems with that, but the damaging winds are possible as this uh, storm tracks by to the south of us. On the animated wind map, uh, you can see air pressure. So we're showing you the high pressure zone and the brighter shading to the north and the low pressure down here to the south. And uh, windy westerlies are stuck between the two of them. So it's still windy around parts of New Zealand, but it's the stormy stuff down here that's about to ramp things up a little further as we go through into Saturday. So this is tonight, uh, nine o'clock this evening. Here is that high pressure zone. You see all the lines, the isobars, heading down to the low pressure zone. That's why it's windy uh, with a bit of rain coming through. So let's animate the next 48 hours. It's pretty fast, but you'll see that surge of wind and rain there on Saturday and by Sunday, a little bit of a break, at least for the North Island, as far as the winds are concerned. We'll make more sense of that now. Let's take a closer look. Here is lunchtime Saturday, high pressure, about 10.30, hectopascals in the northern Tasman Sea, right next to our friends here at Norfolk Island. Just south of that, that's when the westerlies begin. So kind of windy right across the country. We've got the storm just south of New Zealand, that's it here. Air pressure 960, but it might even go lower than that into the 950s. That's very low air pressure and it makes it for windier weather. So we've got damaging winds around this storm and they come up to about Stewart Island and the coastal side of Southland. Pretty close to there, the worst of the winds are actually offshore to the south. But then there's a secondary surge of severe gales through central areas from sort of about mid Canterbury up to the lower North Island. And that's due to the squash zone, thanks to the high and the low in between the two. So windy weather here and there around the country, a few showers on the western side of the North Island might spill over a little further, the east looks dry, and in the South Island, heavy rain comes into the west coast, and yes, some spill over into eastern areas as well as that storm system tracks along. Temperatures, they are up as those windy nor'westers blow through. So you can see in the side, on the eastern side here, in the orange shading, temperatures certainly north of Otago going up into the 20 degree mark and may even go higher than what we're showing you here. Sometimes the, uh, just the sun coming out at the right, uh, right time of the day Clouds clear up a bit in the sky, that heat comes in, and suddenly your temperatures can shoot up with those northwesterly winds. Sunday, the storm is south of the Chatham Islands. Now we've got windy westerlies carrying on over the South Island, not as bad as they were on Saturday. Still a bit blustery though here and there around New Zealand. And yes, that's the leftovers of the cold front as it clears away into Sunday uh, afternoon as that whole system moves out to the east. So Monday kicks off with more rain, more wind, especially around the South Island and the Lower North Island will be windy as well around Wellington and Southern Upper. That rain will set in and there might even be some snow coming in at nighttime, hills and ranges, maybe the ski fields in the south as that colder southwest change comes in behind the windy nor'westers. So Tuesday does see uh, slightly lower temperatures, or you'll feel them at least, around the South Island. Still a bit of rain coming through here to the southwestern corner, Stewart Island, maybe brushing parts of Southland and Southwestland, uh, only a few showers further north, and same story in the North Island there, uh, the west to southwest winds off the Tasman Sea, driving in just a couple of showers here and there. And we go through to Wednesday of next week, and uh, we've got high pressure in the Tasman. The winds are still around from the west, but they are certainly easing, but this little stormy low just ramps them back up again for the lower part of the South Island. But Thursday next week, this is a small area of low pressure. It's not 100% locked in. But what we do see here is this high pressure zone drifting a bit closer to the North Island and the windy stuff being pushed further down over the Southern Ocean and south of us. So still some big storms, 940 hectopascals. That's a decent storm down there. And with that and high pressure over Australia, the windy westerlies of spring, they carry on. But hopefully next week, we just get a little bit of a break in them. That's all from me. Have yourselves a great weekend. Don't forget to drill down deeper with your temperatures, your rainfall, your wind. You can find all of that hourly information on weatherwatch.co.nz, ruralweather.co.nz, or please download our free app. Yeah.